Okay, uh, welcome back. So this time we have an interesting problem from the Iran Math Olympiad 2008. We are given that x here is a positive integer such that x to the power of 13 is equal to 30 digit positive integer. And the digits are 2, 5, 8, 1, 4, 5, 2, 6, 6, 8, 0, 4, 6, 9, 2, 0, 7, 7, 8, 5, 8, 2, 6, 1, 5, 1, 2, 6, 6, and 3. So this is 30 digit positive integer that is very large. And since x must be positive integer, then this means that this equation is a Diophantine equation. And what is the value of x? That is the question. So let us learn how to solve this kind of problem. Okay, so we will use a number theory to solve this problem. Let me rewrite this equation here. And we must have strategies to solve this problem. So the first one is that we look for a bound for possible x values since if you want to try guess and check then there are many possible choices so we might want to limit the choices we narrow down the choices by by looking for a bound using this information that we got here that x power of 13 equals to this uh, 30 digit positive integer so we want to find an upper bound for x and a lower bound for x okay and then the next strategy is the exponent 13 is a prime number. Prime number uh, means that uh, we might want to use the Fermat's little theorem. That is, x power of 13, a prime number, is congruent to x modulo 13, the prime number. And this also means that the remainder when x power of 13 divided by 13 is the same as the remainder when x is divided by 13. Okay, so this will be useful because by finding the remainder of this number, large number when divided by 13, the remainder will be the same as when the solution x is divided by 13. The remainder will be the same. So, uh, when I say compute this, the number, the remainder when this divided by 13, we must compute this in a clever way. So, not in such a brute force, of course. Okay, so, and let us start by finding a bound for this, uh, for, for x, okay, finding the upper bound. First, notice that this is a 30-digit positive integer. So if I take the first two digits, and the rest will be 28 digits, right? And so all of this must be less than 26 times uh, 28 uh, digits, uh, 0 digits, right? That is times 10 to the power of 28, right? And this is 26, so it must be bigger. All of this must be bigger than x power of 13. And this is equal to 2600 times 10 powers of 26. Why I write it this way? Because we want to find upper bound for x. So we must uh, take it to the power of 1 over 13. So uh, using 26 can can make it if if i divide 26 by 13 there will be 2 right so it will be 100 and for this one we just find another bound for this number uh, 2 powers of 13 which will be useful and it is easy to compute here not that difficult that is equal to 8192 and that is of course bigger than 2600 so we found that x power of 13, which is this a large number, is less than less than all of this, 2600 times 10 power of 26, but all of this is less than 2 powers of 13 times 10 powers of 26. And divide, uh, take to the power of 1 over 13, we get this, 200. So the upper bound is 200. So x is less than 200, but what is the uh, the lower bound? What is the lower bound? So we know we now know that x cannot be more than cannot be uh, more than or equal to uh, two hundred. Let us find the lower bound now. 
Uh, previously, we used the number 26, but this time I use 25 here because uh, if I change all the 28 digits here after the number 25, I change all the numbers, the digits into zero, then of course that, that number will be less than all of this, x power of 13. So all of this is our number here is bigger than 25 times 10 to the power of 28. And again, I try to make the exponent here 26, so we have 2500 times 10 power of 26. And let us find a bound for 2500. 2 powers of 11 is equal to 2048, and that is less than 2500. So we get our number here, our number is bigger than 2 powers of 11 times 10 powers of 26. And let us take to the power of 1 over 13, since both of these are positive numbers. So we get this inequality. This is the lower bound, but this number is not beautiful, it's not, it's not easy to work with, so... Let us work. Let us uh, work this out a little more. Using the square root of two, it is easy to prove this that square root of two is bigger than one point four, and square root of two, that is two powers of half, is less than two powers of eleven over thirteen. So we have the lower bound is one hundred and forty because. Uh, 2 powers of 11 over 13 is bigger than 1.4 and 1.4 times 100 is, is just 140 so we have that the solution must be bounded by 140 and 200 okay so that is how we've we 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 find the uh, bound for the solution this is quite a good result and now uh, let us Find, find what is the remainder when our number is divided by 13. Okay, so to do that, let us break up our number into five terms here. Uh, each has a six digits integers, so we break up this number into six digits. 258145266804 and then 6920077 and so on. That is because because we want this, the exponent of powers of 10 is a multiple of 6. We make it a multiple of 6, the, the powers here. Why is that? Because uh, to, make, to, make, to make it easier for us to find the remainder when x power of 13 divided by 13, we can, uh, we can find the remainder when 1 million is divided by 13. This will be easy because... 1 million is 999999 plus 1 and as you will see later this number is a fact uh, has 13 as a factor because 999 uh, this number is just 999 times 1001 right and 1001 is is uh, 7 times 11 times 13 so that is a multiple of 13 this number 999999 is a multiple of 13 and then plus 1, so the remainder must be 1 when divided by 13. Okay, so we have this, the remainder is 1. The remainder is 1 here. And now we will use um, uh, the Modulo operation here, the relation of modulo operation, the first one, the first property is the addition a plus b mod c is equal to a mod c plus b mod c and then all together we add together and then uh, mod c again, the remainder when divided by c. And then for multiplication a b mod c is equal to a mod c times b mod c and then the result is we take the mod c again. And the third one is just a mod c. Mod c is just a mod c itself because a mod c will be less than c, right? So, and then taking mod c again, that will be the same thing as the a mod c itself. So, we will use this. So, okay, we, we have, we are it here again. We, we break it up into five parts. 
and using and we take the modulo 13 we find the remainder when divided by 13 like this right all of this divided by 13 and using the first relation we have it is equal to each of the, of the term divided by 13 we find the remainder all the remainder here five remainders and then we add them up we will add them up and then we we find again the remainder when it is divided by 13 more 13 again later after we sum the total here now we have to compute each of this term right start from the first one 258 258145 times 10 power to 24 we will use the second property that is we will use the second property that is the multiplication a b mod c equals a mod c times b mod c mod c so this will be equal to the six digit mod 13 times 10 powers of 24 is just 10 powers of 6 powers of 4 more 13 and since 10 powers of 6 more 13 is 1 you can check by yourself that all of this will be equal to 1 by using the second property a b mod c uh, several times this will be equal to 1 so we get here is equal to 258145 more 13 more 13 and, and it is just itself right so the same thing for the other four terms we just eliminate the 10 powers of multiple of 6 so all of this x power, powers of 13 more 13 is equal to uh, this sum more 13 right we just eliminate the 10 powers of multiple of 6 now for these five remainders we just compute it manually we have to work on that okay so for the first one that will be 4 you can check that and then for the second one is 5 the remainder is 5 and then third one is 9 fourth one is 1 and the last one is 8 so we just add them up that will be will be equal to 27 so x power 13 more 13 is is this should be uh, equal to this should be equal to uh, 27 more 13 this is equal sign should be and that is this is also equals to 1 so x power of 13 more 13 is equal to 1 which means that x more 13 must also be equal to 1 by Fermat's little theorem by Fermat's little theorem I just rewrite it again here the remainders these two remainders must be the same so x mod 13 must be 1 okay so far we found we found out that the solution when divided by 13 must have remainder 1 let's combine that information with with the this inequality and x must be positive integer so and x must be must have remainder 1 when divided by 13 so what are the possible choices for x for the solution? The possible values is can be 144, 157, 170, 183 or 196. Let us check each of these possible choice. Okay, so but we we won't uh, compute this each number to the power of 13 manually. That that will be very difficult. So uh, to check how to check we just uh, look at the last digit of our number x power of 13 the last digit is 3 right the last digit is 3 so this has last digit 3 so let us check 144 when we take to the power of any positive integer the last digit is either either 6 or 4 we just look at the last digit of this one 144 that is 4 if we take to the powers then either 6 or 4 the last digit of this uh, number and then so this cannot be solution 144 cannot be the solution because the last digit of 144 power uh, i mean x power of powers of 13 must be 3 and then for 157 7 times 7 is 9 and then 9 times 7 is has last digit equals 3 but if you take 
to the powers of 13, the last digit will be 7. You can check that easily. And then 170 is obviously not a solution. The last digit is 0. And then and then 183 is possible, but 196, the last digit must be 6. If you take to, to any positive powers, uh, positive integer powers, the last digit will be 6. So that cannot be a solution. So the only possible answer is 183. So that must be the answer. And this is the answer. You can easy, you can check that. This is the answer. So, okay, so this is how we can solve this problem from Iran Math Olympiad. How we can compute from a Diophantine equation involving a very large number. Okay, so I hope that will be useful. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you on my next videos.